Hi guys, Rice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a review of the BLK Cosmetics. Finally, order ako sa Zalora. If you are pondering kung saan siya pwede bilhin, pwede dun sa blkcosmetics.com.ph. I'm not quite sure. I will link it below. Yung official site ng BLK Cosmetics and pwede rin siya sa Zalora. So, yon I had it uh, ordered via COD, cash and delivery. If you haven't heard already, BLK Cosmetics is owned by Anne Curtis. Anne Curtis ay nag-create ng kanyang um, makeup line. I think BLK stands for black, which is her favorite color. Yung main motto ng line niya, ng makeup line niya is The Uncomplicated Beauty. So, I ordered six items from the line. <clears throat> Nag-release siya pretty much ng halos lahat ng kailangan mo. Ang wala lang sa kanya is foundation and concealer. Na nag-create, nag, uh, nag, ano rin siya, nag-add din siya ng isang um, liquid, you know, liquid base for the face. Kasi ang meron siya is yung All Day Matte Powder Foundation. So, nag-order ako ay light beige. I also got one um, contour blush and highlighting palette. This is in the shade Peach. Sunkiss. Two for, one for the brows. It's the Brow Sculpting Pencil Duo. I have it in the shade Taupe and then also uh, the eyeliner for brown naman. I think black and brown yung na-release niya. And uh, ngayon, sabi ko nga wala siyang na-release na liquid base for the face. And I don't use powder. To be quite honest, I don't use uh, setting powder or uh, even a cake foundation. Any powder, hindi ako nag apply ng liquid base first. So, I always apply liquid base and then the setting powder. Laging ganun. So, I'm going to use my Quick FX Tinted Moisturizer. This is pretty much nothing. Wala siyang coverage. It's just a moisturizer with a tiny bit of tint in it na, yeah, hindi siya ganun ka-prominent. So, meron tong kakapitan, just so meron siyang liquid base na kakapitan, gagamitin ko na lang to. So, quick FX. Same scenario, redness around here, here, veins, discoloration right here, eye bags. Ko na naman. I have combination skin at the moment. I have really dry skin on this part, this part under my eyes and all that and all the rest of my face and I have an oily T-zone. Minsan nagpaproduce din ako ng oil right in here. Ayan. Pero mostly dry. Tisha again ng All Day Matte Powder Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It is pretty, pretty legit you guys. Ang ganda ng packaging niya. It's just a spherical standard packaging and you get here a nice sized mirror right there. Ito yung product and then sa baba andun yung sponge which is really hygienic so maganda yun. And may hingahan yung sponge sa baba. nag siya ng two shades. I have the light beige. If I'm not mistaken, natural beige yung isang kulay. I'm just going to use the sponge dry para matry lang natin yung quality ng sponge. Hmm, okay. Looks good. As you saw, na-mattify niya talaga. So, dito may, medyo may kinang-kinang pa dito. And medyo mattified na siya. Medyo na-emphasize niya yung dry patches ko right here. I will show you later. Wala siyang significant na amoy. Which is, which is good. Kesa naman meron siyang cosmetic um, scent. So, yeah. yeah medyo na-emphasize niya yung dryness right there. And dito. So, yun naman talaga yung aking problema <laughs> pagdating sa aking dry skin. So, yeah, if I really do moisturize and prepare my skin beforehand, I mean, ang ginamit ko kasi yung aking standard moisturizer lang. But if I use a heavy moisturizer, I hope hindi siya mag-ganyan-ganyan. So, I think this is the most coverage I would get with this powder. So, hindi ko na siya ma-build up. And I'm afraid kapag build up ko pa siya, eh, maging cakey na siya. So, okay na tayo dyan. I will apply on this area naman. Actually promising. It is silky smooth. Walang naging problema. Walang wala akong problema sa texture ng powder. Hindi siya magaspang or whatsoever. Hindi rin siya uncomfortable and it is really lightweight. So yun. Aside from my patches right here, kung kayo ay oily skin at wala kayong problema sa dry patches, magugusta nyo tong powder. Kasi yun, lightweight siya and uh, comfortable siya. Isuot. Next up, we are going to do our brows. I'm going to use the Brow Sculpting Pencil Duo. I have it in the shade Taupe. I think kung hindi dalawa, tatlo yung shade na na-release ni Anne. It has a, uh, the product on the first end. So yung product is para siya yung triangular, hindi siya yung pencil type. It has a, a triangle shape on it. And a spoolie on the other end, which is always handy. I love brow products na merong spoolie na hindi yung detasa na ano. And also, it's uh, retractable. Kulay nito. Pinalagay kayo setting ng camera kasi parang ang, ang grayish nung kanina. Ah, 
Um, my first impression, waxy siya. Ito yung mga brow product na ayoko. Waxy, parang it would drag. If you apply here and you reapply there, it will drag your product. It's harder to use than other brow pencils na hindi waxy. Alam niyo waxy, yung para siyang, um, para siyang may cre crayon feels. Para, it's a bit sticky. Parang ganun yung kanyang formula. So, I don't... First impressions wise, I'm not impressed with the brow product. After the brows, we are going to apply the eyeliner. Which I'm afraid to apply this eyeliner na to off ca on cam because I'm not really apply the eyeliner. I'm not, I'm not an expert with it. Ang maganda lang is nagreli siya ng two shades, not just black. Meron tayong brown. So I chose brown kasi nandami kong black eyeliners and kung gusto mo lang kasi ng mas lighter look and mas everyday type of look, mas okay yung brown kasi mas ano siya, mas less harsh siya than uh, than the black one. It has a uh, felt tip applicator. Mas mahilig ako sa mga brush tip just because mas okay, palagay ko ha, mas okay yung pagpatak or yung pag, pagpatak ng product dun sa mismong brush. Kapag brush tip, pag felt tip kasi once na natuyo na siya, mas mahirap na siyang gamitin. But it's just my personal liking. I know marami pa rin gusto ng mga felt tip. Kasi felt tip applicator, this is what the shade looks like. Yeah, it's very, very pigmented at one swipe. And it's really brown. So you can see, medyo nagbe-bleed siya right there. Ayan, medyo nagsismudge siya. So I hope hindi siya ganun sa aking eyelids. Diba guys? Medyo patchy siya dito. Ayan, medyo patchy siya right here. Hindi ko na siya mapantay. Nagbe-bleed siya. Huwag kayong titingala ka agad, titingin ka agad kasi meron ako mga eyeliners na mabilis matuyo and I can do that agad-agad. Pero ito medyo, you know, take it takes time para matuyo. The liner looks like, alam ko, hindi siya pantay kasi hindi naman talaga ako nagwi-wing liner. Kaya nakita nyo ba guys, nag-transfer siya sa akin. So, patchy looking siya. As in, you can Literally, see right here. Yeah, medyo patchy siya dyan. And also here. Pinakamahirap gawin yung mga inner corners. Just going to grab my mascara and apply mascara kasi I look ridiculous with just the eyeliner. So, nagugas ako ng kamay, guys. And let's see kung mabubura siya. Yep, nabubura siya. So, it's not waterproof at all. Now, we're going to apply uh, this one right here, which is uh, what I'm most excited about aside from the lip products. Pero... Yeah, I wanted to try this one. It's a contour blush and highlighter. I have it in the shade Sun Kissed. A nice size mirror. Like, it's a full-on mirror. It reminds me so much of sleek makeup. Yeah. And then you get here the trio. So here's the peachy blush. It, now this one is a peachy highlighter. Para siyang peachy champagne highlighter. This one is the contour, which is really promising. You're going to try that out. I'm going to try that as a bronzer na lang. Now, hindi ko alam kung paano maglalapat yung contour kasi tayo ay nag-powder lang. Wala talaga tayong strong foundation or strong base para mag-adhere yung contour. So, medyo orangey yung shade niya para sa aking yeah, sa aking skin tone. So, it's a bit orangey. Put a little here. Here. I'm going to use now the blush. It's a powder kick off. Yeah, so tap, tap it off. It's pigmented, niya, guys. As in, sobrang konti lang yung kailangan niyo. It shows up on the skin. The other side. Siyempre, na padami apply ko. So tame it out. You're going to try the highlight one. Very natural highlight. Hindi siya wet looking highlight. You want an everyday highlight. Okay na okay ito. Kasi natural looking lang siya. Hindi siya baba boom. Wala naman din siyang chunks of glitters. It's just a nice sheen. So I love that. For our lip product, I only got two. Really like the packaging of this. It's really, it's really luxurious to look at. Uh, simple lang siya. Yan, meron lang BLK right there. And um, meron siyang parang acrylic packaging. So I really like the packaging. Sa photo sa Zalora, mas nude looking siya. Then this, kaya medyo nagulat ako na medyo ano pala siya, medyo konting burgundy shade siya, color right there. Sobrang creamy ng pag ano niya, pag glide sa kanya, ayan. It is really pigmented and really creamy, naku mukhang okay tong formula na to. Kasi parang ganito yung formula ni ano, ni 
may creamy mats ng uh, Maybelline. So before natin i-apply to, pakita ko muna yung isa. This is the long lasting liquid matte lipstick in the shade The Bold. Really handy and like other uh, packaging ng liquid lipstick na medyo mahaba ito. Madali lang siyang i-shoot sa purse or something. Pahabang doe foot applicator. Okay. So this is one swipe. In fairness, ang pigmented niya. Medyo patchy lang siya. Ayan, medyo patchy siya right here. Medyo may makapal dito. And dito medyo... Hmm. I don't think I like this formula just because you need to build it up. Anyway, we are going to do a second layer. Medyo second layer, mas na-intensify niya yung color payoff, pero patchy pa rin siya. Hindi ko siya mapantay, guys. Um, I really struggled with it, especially sa application, and hindi siya kagad ng dry down. As in, you can see, right here, yan, meron dark shade right here. And dito, medyo nag-light na siya, medyo nag-patchy na siya. Yan, dito rin, oh, to dark na siya. And, pantay-pantay naman yung application ko. Hindi ko naman in-apply ng padat-dat or something. So, it's a bit patchy. Yeah, just take note. Starting to get drier, so medyo may konting delay siya sa pagda-dry. And, yeah. You can literally see the patchiness. As in, look at it, you guys. Dito wala, dito meron. It is really kiss-proof. not going to wear this throughout the day. I'm going to use the Nude Intense kasi lalabas kami ng bahay. So, ayoko na ganito itsura ng aking lips. Even dun sa swatch, ayan, medyo patchy siya. I'm going to use this one in the shade Chic. Uh, Looks like it's like a uh, 90s vibes. Para siyang mauve color with a cool undertone na may konting grayish and brown undertone on it. So, it's not unique but it's really nice and it's really, really comfortable. I think this is one of the top, like one of the top products from BLK. Yun ang first impressions. I will give you updates within the day and yeah, I will see you later. Just going to spread out kung ano yung natira doon sa ating lipstick kasi masyadong intense yung mag, masyadong dark yung lipstick if I reapply so Down to our last and final update time check it is already 6 p.m. 6:15 to be exact of course, wala na naman akong relo. But anyway, this is what my face looks like right now. So in general, most of the products, they're, they're gone. <laughs> they are gone. The powder foundation, yung lipstick, wala na rin. Nabuburad na rin yung aking brows right there. And yung aking eyeliner. So hindi siya kadugtong. Hindi ito kadugtong ng ating first impressions. Yung application natin first impressions. Kasi nakalimutan kong mag-film ng last, ng last update. So nakalimutan kong mag- mag outro and mag last update on sa first impressions natin. I've been using this for three days now and I I have my thoughts. The powder foundation works really well with a brush. Uh, wala ako na experience na patchy looking. Kung ginamitan ko siya ng brush, pero nung ina-apply ko siya using a sponge, medyo harsh looking yung pagkaka-apply. So doon nagkaroon ng um nagkaroon ng spots in here and right here. Ngayon, wala akong suot na foundation, pero natry ko rin siya on top of a foundation and I love it. I don't know if you can tell, guys, but I am almost hitting pan. Nakikita niyo na ba yung ring? Right in here. Hindi ko alam kung nawa-wash out man ng camera, pero nakikita ko na yung ring niya. So, I don't think you will get a ton of product in this one. I've been using this for three days, you guys. Pero ngayon nga na mag-film ako ng outro, this is what my face looks like with the same tinted moisturizer that we use. It's gone. Basically, it's gone. Wala na. Wala na yung aking pag 
pagkamat, wala na rin yung coverage na yung minimum coverage niya. It has a light to medium coverage. It's not buildable at all. It's just the usual powder foundation. What's nice about it is it's not um, heavy looking. It's really lightweight. And talagang mamatify niya yung face. Okay to, to touch up your um, hair foundation or your base. So I really enjoyed this product. Contour blush and highlighting palette. I don't know if you can tell, pero may konti ba akong blush na nakikita? Right here. So, medyo, medyo may pagka rosy, rosy, rosy pa something in here. It's really pigmented. The blush is really pigmented. Kahit peachy blush siya, kapag in-apply mo siya, medyo may konting appearance siya ng pagka pink. It's a bit powdery, pero okay na okay yung pigmentation. It's really long-lasting. The highlighter is a natural highlight. Madali siyang mabura. Sa tatlong to, ito yung pinakamabilis mabilis mabura, yung highlight. Yeah, but I don't really reach for a highlight on a daily basis. So, okay lang. Uh, it's, it has a really nice champagne color, like golden champagne color. Hindi siya ganun kalong lasting, pero wala siyang glitter. Uh, it's just a nice shimmer on the face that will give you a nice glow. So, okay na okay siya. For the bronzer, I will call this a bronzer. I don't contour with this type of shade kasi medyo orangey looking siya. Ayan. Uh, hindi ako madalas mag-bronzer kasi mayroon akong hyperpigmentation right here and it emphasizes my hyperpigmentation. So, it's nothing special. It's not actually long-lasting. Pero okay siya to have it in this palette. So, this is a nice go-to palette if you are going to travel with it. And just to throw it out there, guys, lahat ng packaging, lahat ng itsura nila, I love. I love the packaging. I think the pinag-isipan talaga yung packaging niya. It's, it's sleek and elegant looking yung mga lipstick. The brow product, meron siyang spoolie and it's retractable, so okay rin siya. Wala akong problema sa packaging. Both of these has nice mirrors in them and it's it's really weighted and it's really heavy. Hindi siya flimsy or, you know, something that would break when you travel. So I love the packaging of the BLK Cosmetics. Lahat sila, wala akong problema sa packaging. Um, moving on to the eye products, I don't like, I, I, I hate not hate, but I don't I don't really enjoy this one. It's the long-lasting liquid eyeliner. Yung brown. First off, hindi siya long-lasting. Nag-wear test tayo or nag-water test tayo kanina. And yun, pagka-swipe, kung gano'n, nabura na siya. So, yeah, it's not really long-lasting. Gano'n rin siya pag pinagpapawisan ako. Nabubura siya. Ang pagka-apply niya, uh, patchy. Meron siyang lines na makapal siya and then the next line ninipis and then kakapal na naman yun. Medyo hindi pantay-pantay application niya. Because it's a felt tip applicator, uh, kapag kailangan siya nagpapahinga. So, kapag in-apply mong gano'n, minsan wala na siyang tinta on the other eye. So, yun din yung naging problema ko sa kanya. The nice thing is, naglaba siya ng dalawang shades. Though, I haven't tried the black one. Sana yung black, hindi siya ganito kapatchy. Hindi ako nag-apply ng mascara ngayon kasi alam ko mag-outro ako. And as you can see, medyo nabubura na siya for the most part. For the brow naman, okay, okay yung brows. Um, you can work with it, but it's a bit waxy for my liking. Mas gusto ko yung medyo pencil pero may pagka-powdery yung finish niya. So, ito medyo waxy siya. So, ang nangyayari, medyo malagkit yung brows. Kapag sinusuklay mo, sumasama yung product sa kanya. Nagsistick siya sa bristle. Pero, you can work with it. I, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst. So, okay lang. Okay lang to. So-so. Uh, Please niya maubos. Parang tatlong araw ko pa lang siya ginagamit. Medyo, yan, naka one-fourth na siguro ako. So, you won't get a lot with this one also. For the lips, uh, I have very different opinion on this. This one, I don't like. Uh, I don't think this is the best product. Uh, Ayang kasi known si Anne Curtis sa kanyang bold lips, sa kanyang dark and um, vampy lip. Pero sayang hindi niya na perfect itong formula kasi it's it's patchy. Para siyang, para siyang ultra matte ng color pop. Uh, it would fade sa inner part ng lips mo. Meron kang ininom na something na, or meron kang kinain na oily. So yun, uh, buburay na sa inner part ng lips and um, yun, parang may but but whole lip ka and when you reapply uh, sobrang dry niya as in hindi siya comfortable at all ang pangit tingnan nagka crumble down siya and uh, yun ang pangit lang niya tingnan and hindi siya comfortable to be honest i would pass on this but this one i i really like this one it's not long lasting i mean i, I don't really expect a lipstick to be long lasting and like the liquid lipstick so ito hindi siya long lasting pero i love the formula it's really comfortable it has a creamy matte finish just like the creamy mats of Maybelline which I love I love I love that line so it reminds me so much of that medyo long lasting lang yung Maybelline creamy mats than this one this I have to reapply for the first 3 to 4 hours pero okay na din kasi pag nag-reapply ako 
comfortable siya. Hindi siya nagka-crumble down. Hindi siya nakaka-dry ng lips. So, this is really a comfortable matte lipstick. So, those are my overall thoughts sa BLK Cosmetics na natry ko. Ang pinaka-standout product sa akin ay dalawa. First is the All Day Intense Matte Lipstick. I hope they would create more shades, uh, more neutral shades. So, if you wanted to try a um, lipstick uh, lipstick formula doon sa line, suggest you try this one out. It's the All Day Intense Matte Lipstick. Second product I like is the All Day Matte uh, found, uh, Powder Foundation. So, okay na okay to. It really mattifies the skin, but it uh, gives you a breathable and uh, a nice finish, nice glowing finish. So, I, I just hope they would create more shades kasi dalawa lang yung shade available at the moment. So, sana makater rin sila sa mas marami pang skin tone. That would be really great. But that's my overall thoughts for the BLK Cosmetics. I'm really excited kung ano pa yung mailalabas nila. Uh, now guys, I'm trying to get my hands on the Vice Cosmetics, Vice Lipstick, Lip Kit, something. Uh, lipstick line naman ni Vice Ganda. So I'm trying my best to uh, get my hands on them. Bilis niyang mag-sold out. So yun, hindi ako nakakuha dun sa kanyang first release. Hopefully pag nag-restock is maka-chempo maka na ako ng item from them. I would still continue to use them and uh, try to update the description box down below. So always check it out. I will link below BLK Cosmetics and Zalora kung saan ko sila na-purchase. And also comment below your experience with BLK Cosmetics. Ano yung nagustuhan ninyo sa kanya and uh, anong shade yung nag-fit nag sa inyo special sa lipsticks. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye! Mordor ako sa Lazada. Just a background. Mordor ako sa Lazada. Ay, sorry. So, check yeah, BLK Cosmetics. And, um, <clears throat> also, the All Dye. All Dye. Sobrang comfortable. Comfortable. Comfort Kaya gawang salamin yan? Pwede pala yan? Ha? Pwede pala salamin yan. Ha-ha. Video yan. Uh, all Day Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte.